is up simmers welcome back to my channel it's coco sims and i am back with another video i know it has been so long since i posted a video for family ties it's been like a week and i'm so sorry i know you guys really love this lp but i have another lp called p valley as you guys probably know and I had to, you know, feed the P-Valley girls too. You know what I'm talking about. I mean, I'm sure that some of you guys watch both. But, you know, I had to make sure I was pushing out equal episodes for both LPs. You know, you know how that go. But anyway, <laughs> we are here with the Streeters, your favorite family. And today we are going to be sending Nova and Amir on their first day of school. And I'm excited because, you guys, I have big plans for Nova and Amir. I have super big plans for Nova and Amir. I want to do a Let's Play called Love Nova. And I want it to kind of follow Nova through her teenage years and stuff like that. But in order to get there, they have to age up. So we're just going to start with sending them to preschool. And pretty soon, we're going to have a birthday party for them. And we're gonna get that ball rolling but of course before we start that lp we're gonna have to finish up at least season one of this lp so don't even worry about it you guys when i do start the love nova lp family ties is still gonna be here we're still gonna be following xavion and peyton and them but you know i just wanted to let you guys know that i have big things in the works for this family you know but anyway first day of school Xavion is over here playing with Namir because he's gonna miss his babies. Peyton, I guess she's over here talking to Nova, telling her, you know, you know how black moms be like, if I, if your teacher called me and tell me that you was acting up, I'm gonna tear a little behind up when you get home, you know. Y'all know how black mothers be, so. <laughs> They're getting the babies ready for their first day of school, and I'm using the Kawaii Stacy preschool mod that comes in the education bundle. So it says, the school doors are now open. Nova should go to school soon, and Amir should go to school soon. They're both going to the same preschool. And it says, you can send Sims to school between 5 a.m. to 10 a.m. Click on the Sim, and any time before and after that is too early or too late. So we're probably going to be sending the babies to school like at 8.30, 9 o'clock, because I feel like that's a pretty normal time. It says, school lasts about six hours, which will count down as soon as the student arrives. Sims will build skills, motives, and character values based on their school. There are no punishments or benefits to being late, early, or missing days. Nova will try to go autonomously during the time frame and, you know, all that. So, the babies are officially in school. Every day, they're going to try to go to school on their own. I don't know if we're going to make them go to school every day, maybe, but... It's just nice to be able to send your toddlers to school so we don't just have the Peyton staying home with the babies all day or Xavion staying home with the babies all day. You know, we got shit to do. So with that being said, we are going to go ahead and send the babies off. They are super emotional and shit. You know, Xavion loves his babies. He's a real hood nigga, but he loves his babies. So he really not trying to let the babies go to school, but they have to. They got to go. And just LSD, Xavion. Xavion. Is this who we are? Is this what we do? Like, come on, Xavion. Not him getting high on his own stash. I mean, I guess we do have a lot of drugs, but whatever. Let's have Namir go to school. So we're going to click this little go to school option. And Nova, I want you to go to school too. All right, Nova, go to school. All right, that's that, y'all. Peyton, leave her alone. Let her go. Like, y'all do not want to let the babies go. Let them go. Aw. Okay, y'all, look at the little outfits. Oh, my gosh, I should have had them take pictures, huh? It's too late now. But look at her little outfit. She is too stinking cute. This whole outfit is from The Sims Resource, by the way. Super cute. Namir. This is not the outfit that I wanted Namir to wear to school. I mean, it's cute, but this isn't the outfit that he's supposed to be wearing. Y'all know how the first day of school, the first day of school fit got to be real fresh. Y'all already know. It's cold outside. So, yeah, there we go. 
that's Namir's first day of school fit. He looking real fresh. You know, Xavion had to make sure his baby was fresh for his first day of school in his little Burberry outfit. <laughs> Period. But yeah, y'all, the babies are gonna go. And yeah, that's that. Look how cute they are. I wish that like a school bus came and picked them up or something. Like they just kind of walk off by themselves. Because I've used this mod before, but I was just explaining it for those of you who haven't used it, you know. They're going. Oh, look at the babies. And they're gone. Let's pretend like a school bus came and picked them up, y'all. Okay, you guys, quick side note. I don't know if I'm going to put this in the beginning of the video or just like right after, but I'm in the middle of filming this video and I just hit a thousand subscribers on YouTube and I don't even know what to do with myself, child. Like, <laughs> it's, what day is it? It's Saturday and I got to work tonight, but I'm mad that I got to work because I should go up and turn up. Like a thousand subscribers might not seem like a lot to some people, to bigger creators, but I've only been doing this for like two months, you guys, and my goal was to get 500 subscribers in six months, and I felt like that was like a really reasonable goal because the Sims 4 creator community is very saturated, and I wasn't expecting to be like an overnight sensation. I was cool with that, but the fact that I reached a thousand subscribers in two months, I guess I'm doing something right, and I love you guys. You guys are amazing. Honestly, it's very discouraging to make content, create content, and only get like 40 or maybe 100 views. It's very discouraging, but I went into this just wanting to have fun. Like, I love the game, and that's all I do in my free time, so why not record it and share it, you know? That's why I started doing it, and I stuck with it. Even when I only had 40 subscribers, I stuck with it, and now we're at 1,000, and I love you guys so, so, so much. I say that in every video, and I do mean it. You guys, your comments make my day. Your, every time you guys, you know, say, oh my gosh, I love your LP, or I love this, I love that, it just makes me feel so good about myself because... In real life, I don't get a lot of compliments. I feel like nobody really gives compliments to each other these days. So you guys really do make my day. And I started doing this just to have fun. And now I'm doing it for you guys because I love that there are people that enjoy watching me just do me. So let me not ramble too much. I just wanted to say thank you and that I love you guys so, so, so much. And we're finally at 1K. So I don't really have too much planned for this episode. I mean, I have like an outline or whatever, but since the babies are at school, we can go ahead and have Peyton and Xavion both do their own thing. And as y'all can see, our weed plants here grew. I don't think they're ready to harvest, are they? They're not, oh, they are. Okay, so they're all ready to harvest. So if you guys remember the last episode, we went to our warehouse and the weed was not growing at our warehouse. I think I'm going to have Xavion go to the warehouse, um, go ahead and harvest all of that weed because that's going to be a lot of weed. It's a whole warehouse full of weed, so we're going to do that. And then Peyton is going to take some hair clients today now that her babies are finally going to school. She hasn't had any clients in about a year because she's just been doing her mommy duty shit. She's been focused on her family. And Xavion takes care of her, so it's no problem. But, you know, she want to make her own coin on the side. So Peyton is going to go ahead and take some hair clients today just so that she's keeping busy or whatever because Xavion is always ripping and running. And here go her damn mom. She's still here, y'all. Mother-in-law is still here. Peyton's mom is still here. And speaking of Peyton's mom... And speaking of P Valley, if y'all watch P Valley, y'all know y'all know who Kaylani is. A lot of shit happened to Kaylani in the last P Valley episode. <laughs> if you know, you know. But Kaylani is actually the person that's coming over to get her hair done today. And let's see. I wish we could look at. I mean, maybe we can. Can we? Let's see if we can look at Kaylani's family, her little family tree. Where is he? Where is he? I don't see her dad in here anywhere. That's so funny. Okay, so here is Kaylani's dad, Derek, right? And if we go look at Georgia, 
Derek is her husband. So Kehlani and Peyton are actually stepsisters and Kehlani's coming over to get her hair done today. So maybe her and Peyton can gossip about why the fuck Peyton's mom does not want to leave their damn house. Like y'all see the type of contraband we keep in this fucking house. I mean, oh, speaking of baking soda in a pot, y'all. <laughs> So much has gone down. I play with them in my free time and so much has happened. Speaking of baking soda, look at this. Just look. High quality cocaine. And no, she did not get it from Xavion. Georgia has been doing coke. She has the Columbus Elsie coming down. Georgia is coming down and is craving more cocaine. Yeah. I don't know when the fuck she started doing cocaine, y'all. I don't know. But since she's craving it, I mean, why we can't do it? Oh, we probably got to put it on a counter. But yeah, y'all, I just wanted to um, fill y'all in on that tea because, yeah, child, Georgia be doing coke now. And I have no idea when that started. I don't really have my Sims do shit like that. So, yeah, and... Peyton has been noticing that her mom has been acting mad weird lately too. So there's also that. And it's because she's on drugs and she's obviously keeping secrets from people. So why can't we do nothing with Georgia? What the fuck is going on? She can't do no coke. She can roll a blunt though. Hmm. Let's try it like this. Would it be wild if I had her do coke in front of the whole family? I'm not going to do it, y'all. But I'm going to go ahead and let her do her thing because, shit, I don't got nothing to do with me. Usually they like to do it, like, by the sink. But it's not letting me put it on the sink. So she going to have to do it. Can she do it off of this table? Hmm. We got to find a place for Georgia to do, to do her coke, y'all. <laughs> the ghetto. Hmm. Let me try it like this. I don't know why we can't put it on the counter. That shit's mad annoying. But I'm going to have her go in her room and do it then because she's coming down. And last thing we need is her acting like a crackhead because of withdrawals or whatever the case may be. Let's go ahead. Yeah, we're going to put the lines right there. Y'all see the lines? There they go. You can't really see them. But I'm going to go ahead and have her snort this. Do more lines of cocaine. Yep. There she go. I'm going to let her go ahead and be great. But... <laughs> Peyton is going to go ahead and call Kehlani and invite her over. So let's go ahead and do that. Invite her stepsister over. And we're going to have Xavion go handle some of his business over at the warehouse. So I will see you guys when we get there. All right, y'all. We are on the way to the warehouse with Xavion to see if this weed grew or not. If it isn't, then I don't know what's wrong with my base mental. I just updated it, so it should be working perfectly fine. But yeah, we're going to go ahead and see if we can harvest this weed and make some more money. Because, you know, that's all Xavion is really about. And we brought the dogs just so that the dogs can play. And I don't know if I told you guys, I have the, like, control pet. Why are you sad? Stop being sad. So I can control my pets, which I really like. Oh, she's not getting enough attention. Oh. Go ahead and play. I'm going to have them play. All right. So we brought the dogs out so that they can get some fresh air or whatever. Antoine is here for whatever reason. But yeah, we're going to go ahead. Y'all, the weed didn't grow. What the fuck? All right, y'all, that's a bust. I don't know why the weed in the warehouse won't grow. It's really starting to piss me off. Maybe now that I up updated my base mental, I can um, see. Let's see if he can plant this. Nassim is here standing guard since he's the bodyguard. But I want to see if Xavion can plant. Did he plant it? 
Let's see if this shit's working. Because I don't know why the weed isn't growing, you guys. Yeah, like, y'all see how it just disappeared? And who the fuck are you, girl? I hate when people just be walking up in, in the fucking house. But, yeah, y'all, I don't know what's wrong with my weed. If y'all know what is wrong with my weed, please let me know. Please do. But, I mean, since we're here, we can invite over some of our gang members or whatever. Let's invite our gang members. Yeah. I don't know what's wrong with my base mental drugs, y'all. It's acting so fucking weird. Okay, hold on. We gonna have to lock these doors. Because ain't no way y'all just finna be walking up in here. And this is literally our weed warehouse. Like, what is going on? Go. Leave. Hurry up. Go. Where the other bitch at? Yeah, leave. Let's lock these doors. Not everyone can make it. Nassim is already here and Antoine's already here. All right. So let's lock. I mean, it says it's locked. So let's lock for everyone but Xavion. And then let's allow access to... Hmm. Uh, we can't lock the door because then our gang member is not going to be able to come in here. All right, whatever. So let's go ahead and politic or whatever. It's hot. And I guess that's why Antoine don't got no shirt on. Antoine old, but he's still fine. I know y'all see it. He's still kind of fine for being an old nigga. <laughs> but let's go ahead and politic or whatever. We can arrange a sit down with 15th Street. Y'all remember in the last episode, we beat the shit out of Dreezy for the second time. Yeah, we could arrange a sit down, but fuck that. We not even gonna do that. Let's see how many corners we control as of right now. That's what I want to know. So they dapping each other up or whatever. He's asking, you know, what's up? Like, how's the block looking? How many corners do we control? What's up? So let's see. We control eight out of 10 available street corners. I know that's right. This is Xavion's kingpin come up story, y'all. Like, I know that's right. Eight out of 10. Last time, I think we had like six or something. So yeah, we making big money moves, y'all. Should we ask him? Let's see. Let's see. Information. Huge shipments. Hmm. Maybe we could do... Let's ask him about huge shipments because I've never done that before. So maybe we could do that. Let's see what he say. All right, it says, to oversee huge shipments of a drug, click on your phone and select oversee huge shipment. You will then travel to Salvador Dora along with a few gang members. Once you arrive, you will receive a phone call with more details. If you, do, if you do not own the required expansion pack, you must choose to send your gang members on the mission instead. All right, well, I do have the jungle living or the jungle whatever expansion pack, so we could do that later if we have time because that sounds like it's gonna take a long ass time but um ooh, we can't put this in our inventory we got three bricks of cocaine just sitting here but we already have a lot of drugs in our inventory right now that's why we invited our gang members over we need them to push some of this shit for us we still have our pink rolex blue hearts purple playboys we have coke we have we got a lot of stuff 99 plus we have more than 100 bags of sour diesel 88 of the ak-47 so yeah we really need them to help us push this shit out before it goes bad where is everybody we invited our gang members over so they should be here lock the camera all right here they go this is Antoine's daughter, Nisi. I don't know why. Everywhere Antoine and Javon go, they kids follow. Like, I bet you Javon's kids is going to pop up too. But <laughs> let's talk to Javon. Y'all, my reshade looks so freaking good. All right, let's get our cut from drug pushing. Oh, Kofi just popped up. 
period. There's Malik. Xavion, where you at? Oh, here he come. All right, well, we finna talk to Javon and get our little cut from drug pushing. Wait, didn't I say that one of Javon's kids was gonna pop up? Look, there go one of them, Tyree. They kids just be following them to do fucking drug business. Ain't that shit crazy? Where y'all going? I guess they had to go inside for whatever reason. I hope my game isn't acting stupid for no reason today. I really do. Y'all had to come all the way up here to talk. I mean, I guess they don't want the feds watching or whatever. Mm -hmm. All right. What? $22,000. I know that's right. See, Javon always understands the assignment, y'all. Period. But what's this? Gossip with Antoine? Grown men don't gossip. As a man, gossiping is not cute. I'm just gonna let you know that right now. But let's go ahead and send him out on another mission. We're gonna push the cocaine because that's what makes us the most money. And we trust Javon the most, so he's the only one that's gonna push cocaine because if one of these niggas lose our cocaine or whatever, they gotta get their ass beat. Are you gonna do it, Javon? My game be acting stupid just like y'all's, okay? So I gotta do shit twice. So we gonna send Javon to push some cocaine. And Xavion, look, he's tweaking. He's high off of LSD. What do it say? Peace and love from doing LSD. Xavion feels one with life, the universe, and everything. There is a mental calm within him incomparable to anything else. You fucking crackhead, Xavion. Like, please. I mean, at least he's not doing actual coke and crack like Georgia. But it's killing me how everybody is just all up here because they're waiting for Xavion to give them some orders. Let's go ahead and get this shit over with. All right, let's get update on the corner. Let's see if he got our money. Oh, it says we successfully threw them out of there. That corner is now under our control. So that should be nine out of 10 corners now, y'all. Xavion is really the king of Newcrest. I know that's right. Okay, so let's send him out on a mission. And I don't know why Javon didn't leave yet. We might have to send him out on a mission again. But we already gave him the coke. So yeah, let's just tell him to leave. Like, nigga, go push that shit. And then Malik. Missions. Let's see. Let's send him to push cannabis because we got all that sour diesel in our freaking what you call it. All right. So he's going to go push that. Keyshawn, this is Javon's son, if y'all remember. Let's see what he got for us. Let's get our cut from drug pushing. It's killing me. Like, y'all really brought your... Like, <laughs> Keyshawn's little brother just chilling. <laughs> While Xavion having them go push crack and coke. I'm so weak. Oh, oh, really? I am sorry, boss. A new crest thug stick-up crew got to me. I'm lucky I got out of there in one piece. Really? Do we gotta beat Dreezy's ass again? You got one of my niggas robbed? And then Keyshawn's the youngest one. He's the easiest one to rob because he's a teenager. Man, we gonna have to beat his ass, sadly. Y'all not going nowhere, so I don't know why I said goodbye. But yeah, it's killing me that Tyre is just chilling while we doing all this drug shit. Maybe I'll include Tyre in my little Love Nova Let's Play. I don't know if I told you guys. I don't even remember, but when Nova and Amir grow up, they're going to get their own Let's Play. Maybe we'll have Tyre in it because he's just sitting and watching all this shit. But yeah, he lost our money. So we're not going to beat his ass. We're not going to beat his ass. We're going to talk about respect. 
we gonna talk about respect. Like, it's real disrespectful that you let them niggas rob you. Like, for real. Let's talk about territory. Like, what territory was you on? Like, what which route did you take? Why did you get robbed type shit? And we not gonna take that route no more type shit. All right? So, they talking or whatever. And we gonna send him out. Let's send him out to beat up, beat them up. Send to beat up rival gang members. Like, okay. So, them niggas that robbed you, go ahead. Take my blick and go beat the fuck out them niggas. Like, okay? Because they can't, he can't have other gang members thinking that Keyshawn's soft. Like, you only as strong as your weakest link. So, we gonna send him out to do that. Hold on. When did he get here? Y'all. Y'all, that really goes to show how much I don't pay attention. That nigga Dreezy was just sitting here listening to everything this entire time. Xavion, like, nigga, what the fuck is you doing here? Like, you know, he high on LSD, so he ain't noticed. But his other gang member should have said something. Yeah, he cussing him out. Like, nigga, what the fuck is you doing here? This is my part of the city. This is my territory. Dreezy, like, yeah, nigga. Yeah, well, just know. Just know I'm getting your shit took real soon. Might not buy me. <laughs> might not be. <laughs> Might not be by me and my niggas, but you gonna get got. And look, he thinking about, what is this, justice, judge, a police? Xavion, like, nigga, that's a threat. You cooperated with the police? You cooperated with the police, Dreezy? Let me find out. Let me find out. I hate that it's just all these people coming up in here. This is Micaiah. This is Malik's sister. But yeah, Dreezy over here just acting stupid. And that's exactly why we might have to kill this nigga. Tyre, oh my gosh, it's too much going on, y'all. Tyre over here making a mess. Javon needs to come get his fucking kids. But yeah, Dreezy, like, yeah, just know if your shit get raided anytime soon, you you know who did it. You already know who responsible. Xavion, like, Xavion, real calm. He like, he like Dreezy. Is that a threat? Is that an honest to God threat? Dreezy, like, it might be, nigga. What if it is? It might be. And y'all, we not going, we not finna, we not finna keep playing with this nigga. We not. Y'all, I'm honestly so freaking sick of Dreezy. And I know Xavion is sick of Dreezy. Like, this shit is ridiculous. Like, who? Where are you going? Oh, no. We not letting you off that easy. We're not. We not finna let your ass off that easy. Like, you think you just finna come in here, threaten to get my shit raided, and then leave? Like, nah. No, should, deadly interactions, should we y'all? I mean, not not in front of the babies. No, not in front of the babies. We not gonna do it. But who the fuck does he think he is? And what's an extreme CBT, y'all? What's that? What is that? Snatch weave, slap drag. I mean, how many times is we gonna have to beat this nigga ass before he leave us the fuck alone? That is what I wanna know. Yeah, y'all already know how we do. <laughs> every time we see this nigga, y'all. Every time we see him. Just like that. Yup. <laughs> I'm sick of this shit, y'all. Next time we have to beat Dreezy ass, we might as well just kill him. Because he obviously, he likes this shit. He, he must like it when Xavion beats his ass. He must. It's bit look at Tyre just like yep. Nobody re even reacting. They already know how Xavion get down. This is not what was supposed to happen in this episode, y'all. Like I was not planning on beating Dreezy's ass. I had plans for Dreezy, but it wasn't this. Yep. Now seem like I'm a I'ma show you your way out. <laughs> Let me show you the way out. <laughs> anyway, y'all. Let's go check in on Peyton and see what she's up to. All right, y'all, so we are back home with Peyton, and Kehlani is here. I think she's about to knock on the door, or she already knocked on the door, and Peyton's like, come in, girl, you already know, your family, or whatever. Peyton is already set up in her little studio. She is ready to do some hair, and I know that's right. I love a bitch that makes money. I really do. Like, I can only be friends with girls who work, or girls who, like, have a nigga that takes care of them and like a nigga that actually treats them right because i mean just because you have a dude that takes care of you doesn't mean he treats you right you know what i mean we only fuck with get money bitches period <laughs> but i guess peyton no we're not gonna paint we're not say hi to your little stepsister or whatever 
let's be friendly let's hmm what can we do let's just ask about her day she's like hey girl i haven't seen you in so long you know they got to give each other a little hug or whatever let's have them chat in here y'all as soon as kaylani got here okay <laughs> Y'all know that um, Peyton has this spiritual trait. Soon as Kehlani got here, she got mad. <laughs> she felt her bad vibes or whatever. All right, you guys. So Peyton and Kehlani are just sitting here chatting and everything like that. And Kehlani is telling Peyton all about her trip to Mexico and how she got her ass beat for fucking with this girl's man. And she had finally found out and... She's just spilling the tea about the whole situation. And she's like, girl, this shit was crazy. She beat my ass in the middle of the club. Nobody came to help. The flight home was mad weird. Like, she's just telling her all about the shit. And yeah, now Kehlani's telling her... My game just lagged so bad. But yeah, Kehlani's just telling her all about it. And she's like, girl, I really need my hair done at this point. Like, damn, my game is lagging, y'all. Oh, no. Mm -mm. But yeah, she's just telling her all about it And she's like, girl, I need my hair done bad And Peyton's like, girl, you know I got you I got you on a little discount too You know, I'll get you a little lace front for like 200 And Kehlani's a stripper So she's like, girl, that is fine by me So she gonna go ahead and get her right together And yeah, I mean, they're really giving They're giving What's the name? What's her name? Oh, I'm so disrespectful Kelly Rowland How could I forget her name? It's giving Kelly Rowland and Beyonce because, you know, Kehlani's last name is Knowles and she be lying and telling people that she related to Beyonce. She's not. But that's what it's giving. It's giving Kelly and Bay. But we're going to go ahead and get her right together, do her hair or whatever. All right, y'all. So I'm excited to see how this going to turn out because I've never used this little chair before. So let's see what her hair come out looking like. But, you know, they're just talking about life and shit like that and everything like that. And... Uh, Peyton like girl, you know that my mama came to stay with me like what's going on her and your daddy having problems or something And Kehlani like girl not that I know of but my dad did call me asking for some money the other day And Peyton like what didn't he just buy you a new car and she's like yeah girl He asked me um to go ahead and send him money for the insurance even though Okay, hold up This hair is cute Wait a minute Usually the hair come out like some bogus Maxis hairstyle. This shit is cute. Okay, Peyton. Wait, y'all. Peyton can actually do hair. I know that's right. But, um, Kaylani, like, yeah, girl, he called me talking about some can I pay for my insurance when he said he was going to pay for it. And Peyton, like, girl, you think they broke or something, maybe? And Kaylani, like, girl, it's it's a big possibility. It is a big possibility. But hold on. Let me end this before Peyton fuck the hair up. It looks good just like this. Okay. And Peyton, like, girl, go ahead and send me 200 And so we're going to have Kaylani actually send her $200 because I'm extra. So she got $23. 23,000 up in here. So let's go ahead and send Peyton 2,000 or 200. To, uh, oop, not Javon. And yes, she has a romance meter with Javon. Don't ask me no questions, y'all. Yeah. All right. Kaylani sent us some money, period. And that money should be in Peyton's bank account if the mod works how it's supposed to. I think so. She got $17,000 in there. All right. So I think it worked, period. So Peyton's actually kind of hungry right now. And I would have her go out to eat with Kehlani, but the babies are about to get home from school soon. So we just going to go ahead and chat it up. But yeah, Peyton like, hmm, she really thinking like, what if my parents are broke? Like, you know, so let's see. Hmm. What can we I'm looking for that mother simmer Let's gossip like we finna gossip about it Like girl like Y'all can tell by My By my LPs like none of my sims Are broke like I've never I don't have any sims that are broke Type shit 
they all got money so Peyton's like since when are our parents having money problems type shit so let's ask how family is like Peyton want to know more about this shit type shit and Kehlani's hair actually came out so cute you guys like the color and everything I mean this isn't something that I would choose for her but like Peyton really did that period with her little big old jug of eco styler and the wig glue period she got her right together but yeah they're talking about it and Peyton is thinking and she's like maybe I should just like go talk to my mom because I mean if they're having money problems she wants to know you know like because Peyton their money is no problem like money is no issue for Peyton and you know Kehlani's like girl my daddy has never asked me for money a day in his life so I don't know what they got going on but maybe we should ask because Kehlani's dad is a businessman and Georgia is retired she doesn't work anymore so I don't know we gonna have to ask and see what's been going on and see what the situation is because Miss Georgia she's not here right now where is she she's at a candy store right now so soon as she gets back Peyton is gonna have to press her for some more information about this shit y'all but this was really cute somebody commented on my um commented on my video one of my other videos and was like Peyton should like make a living out of doing hair and makeup and I think she really could because that hair came out super cute y'all but yeah y'all we gonna have to figure this Georgia stuff out for real all right y'all I know y'all are probably like girl what the fuck I done changed my reshade it looks like really creepy and dark or whatever yes I did it on purpose because we are outside of this police station in Oasis Springs, right? And y'all probably already can guess who is up in this police station. And I know this reshade is real extra, but y'all, I'm in my law and order bag, so just go with it, okay? Just go with it. We is up in this police station, y'all. And Dreezy is down in here in this detective's office and <laughs> the reshade is really sending me but y'all just go with it just go with it dreezy in here talking to dude and he's like look this shit is crazy he's like look i'm not feeling this whole arrangement that we got going on like this shit not working for me and the police officer well either this is gonna work for you or prison is gonna work for you right let me tell y'all what the fuck is going on Dreezy got picked up by the police a few days ago, all right? The police caught him selling little dime bags on the street, caught him with some coke and stuff in his car, you know, not, not, no, like, real big shit like Xavion be doing, you know, he not like that. 15th Street, not like that, but, you know, they caught him with some contraband, so they picked his ass up, they booked his ass, and they basically told him, like, look, we'll let you go scot-free, if you help us get Xavion Streeter, if you help us get Xavion Streeter, we'll let you go and we'll clear your criminal record and you will be free to live your life as you want to and you won't be a felon anymore. Like, we can make that happen for you. And at first, Dreezy was like, fuck no. Like, you finna get me killed out here in these streets. Like, fuck no. I'm not turning fed. I'm not turning rat. But they, te they told his ass, it's either this or we can book you for 20 years in prison not jail 20 years in prison and you know Dr you know dreezy's a bitch so he was like oh fuck i can't go to prison bro like what the fuck i can't go to prison so here he is cooperating with the police and that's why he snuck into Xavion's warehouse earlier and was eavesdropping and shit thinking that we wasn't gonna notice it took me a minute but i caught his ass we caught his ass y'all he was there spying wearing a wire for the police y'all that's exactly what he was doing <laughs> that's exactly what his ass was doing y'all so he's over here talking to this officer and he's like yo like this shit is whack bro like i can't do this shit bro like i can't so yeah y'all that's exactly what's going on and I know it's probably hard to see with this little dramatic ass law and order type reshade I got on, but it says he's complaining about heat. He's like, 
bro, like, I can't take this heat. Like, they was on to me. They see me. And they was like, yo, like, you, you cooperated with the police type shit. He beat my ass. I got my ass beat. Like, this nigga already beat my ass three times now. Like, if he gotta beat my ass again, he's gonna kill me. Like, you're y'all are about to get me killed type shit. And the police officer is like, look, I know you're worried about your safety. Oh, <laughs> what he saying? He said, Afu, fuck you. I guess this new dude's name is Afu. He's like, man, fuck y'all. Like, y'all got me out here risking my life and shit. Like, I could really get killed for this shit. He's proposing a crazy scheme. He's like, look, why don't y'all just do a raid on him? Like, I know he's got some shit on him. Like, I know he keeps shit in the house. He's got a weed garden, a warehouse full of weed. Like, why don't y'all just book him with that? Like, why do y'all need me? And the police officer is like, this case is way more complex than that. We're trying to hit him with RICO charges. Y'all know. <laughs> I can't take myself serious. Y'all know Young Thug and all them Rico charges. They trying to hit Xavion with the exact same shit. Them Rico charges, I said it in the last episode, the police is trying to hit him with the Rico charges. The officer's like, we need more. We need more evidence. We need recordings. We need live proof of him threatening people. We need, you know, all that shit. And he's like, we've got some wiretaps going already. We've got some comp we've got some conversations that sound incriminating, but Xavion's very careful. He's King Slime. Y'all seen that video of that lawyer talking about Young Thug? He's King Slime. He's the main... Oper he's the main brains of the operation that's Xavion he's like we need him to be incriminated to the fullest extent if we have any chance at, at getting him if we have any chance of locking him up we need you for this and he's like I know you're scared or whatever but you just gotta cooperate with us and Dreezy like oh man Dreezy like man I don't know you know and you know the detective is like or you can go to prison you know you can go to prison if you want to and all that type shit he's like where are you going where are you going dreezy like man whatever whatever you know i just want to be done with this shit type shit and the detective is like all we need you to do is a couple more things and we can put you in witness protection program while the trial goes on you know just stick with it just stick with it and yeah y'all that is that this shit is crazy he's really out here cooperating with the police y'all like I don't know y'all like this is crazy as fuck but you know the life that Xavion's living the police is bound to catch up to you at some point so Dreezy is a snitch now I mean we already knew he was a bitch but now he's a snitch he's a rat he turned fed and nobody knows yet but like y'all y'all saw earlier Xavion was like nigga are you are you cooperating with the police like how you threatening to get me raided and shit like you know real niggas don't do that type of shit but at this point Dreezy knows that he's dead either way he's playing with his life either way and he's just trying to you know do whatever the police is asking him to do to keep him out of jail and then he's planning on dipping like leaving the country type shit so we gonna have to see y'all we we gonna see I think that that is the perfect place to end this episode, you know, leave y'all on a little cliffhanger. You know what I'm talking about, you know, Peyton found out that her mom might be having financial problems, her mom's doing coke, she doesn't know about that yet, so it's a whole lot of shit going on with, you know, Peyton and her mom, we're gonna have to address that issue in the next episode. And now, Dreezy done turned fed, Dreezy done turned rat, the feds is trying to build a case against Xavion. I think that's a lot of tea for one episode, so we gonna go ahead and just wrap it up at that, and leave it at that, y'all, cause this shit is really crazy. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode, I hope that, you know, y'all is interested in the tea and interested to find out what's going to happen to Xavion and what's going to happen with Peyton and her mom and shit like that. I mean, Peyton and her mom, that's like really some little shit compared to this tea about, you know, Dreezy turning rat. So, I don't know, y'all. We gonna have to see, but... On a lighter note, Nova and Amir had their first day of preschool today, and that shit's mad cute. They're growing up, and I'm so excited for when they finally become teenagers because that Love Nova LP is going to be amazing, but we're going to have to be patient. So, you know, don't be asking me when we're going to have Love Nova or whatever. You know, we got to wait till she's a teenager, y'all. It's coming. It's coming, okay? But... I hope you guys like this video. Comment below what you think about this episode, what you think is going to happen with Dreezy and Xavion and everything else. Like, 
is they gonna catch Xavion? Is they gonna get his ass? Who knows? Like, really, I don't even know. I came up with this idea, like, on a whim, y'all, but... <laughs> I love you guys so, so much. Thank you for tuning in to another video. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Catch up on old videos. And, you know, show your girl some love. Thank you guys again for 1,000 subscribers. It really is so amazing. It means so much to me that you guys are responding so well to my content. And, you know, that you guys are loving it here. I knew you would. I will see you guys next time. I love you. Bye.